I've got to get these seats redone again. Rick Fardo doesn't have a cool hobby. It is what's called a rat rod. No secret talent. Yes. Just a few old cars. That's the true meaning of a rat rod, because it looks ratty. And because of that, oh. Rick's not quite sure why we're here. Yes. In his words. Yeah, I'm not that interesting of a person. <laughs> Rick I, thinks he's telling the truth. Then shorten this, chop this. Though it's anything but. He's not interesting? Yeah. Oh, well, he's fibbing. <laughs> he's definitely fibbing. He's Superman. I literally would have to call him Superman just because he is the impossible. To understand why, you have to go back to the Rick Fardo of the 70s. The Rick Fardo with hair. The guy who became a corporate executive and had it all. Limos, famous people. Casinos with rock stars in them. Before I got married, I told my now ex-wife, I said, I don't want children. I want my cars. I want to travel. I don't like kids touching my stuff. <laughs> but after Rick's marriage ended, the new bachelor had an inexplicable change of heart. I can't really tell you how it happened. It just did. <laughs> Almost on a whim, Rick decided to take in foster kids. And you failed at that miserably. Terribly. And... Um, 10 adoptions later, here we are. Soon, dinner for one <laughs> became a feast for 11. Let's see. Sometimes I miss one or two. <laughs> um, Austin, which is my youngest, then Nathaniel, Jacob, Jason, Tim, Vincent, Michael, Bill, Ron, and Ricky. Being here and Having the life that we have now is just something that some people can only dream of. Because in each of Rick's sons, there is a story of heartache. Yeah. Moving around, foster care, places to places. Anger, sadness, lost hope. Something that I eventually found again. Found because of Rick. <laughs> He's basically saved all of our lives. That's a pretty big statement. Oh yeah, it is. It's the truth though. Oh, yep, it is. He took us from these really bad places in our lives <laughs> and just gave us the opportunity to become what we really want to be. He basically stepped in and showed me what having a dad was like. <sighs> yeah. They've grown to be pretty good, productive adults, and I'm so proud because, aww, everybody always says, oh, you've done all this, and I'm like, no, no, I, I can provide the path, but, you know, they have to make the choice that they want to make more out of their life. This is in no way the life that you thought you were going to have. No. But are you happy with the life that you got? Oh, absolutely. Rick still calls himself uninteresting. Everyone else here, though, just calls him dad. Oh. And I'll use that fork for that. Love you too, buddy. In Port Charlotte, Sean Martinelli, NBC2.